Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Prince from Ghana. Today's episode of my video is I am coming to interview one wonderful lady on YouTube. Her name is What's your name? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Yeah. I don't know. Am I wonderful? No, you're wonderful, <laughs> yeah. A great and wonderful lady in the Philippines. Mm. Yeah, a YouTuber, yeah. It's and yours truly, guys. Yeah. Dockers in the building. Nice one, nice one. Yeah. yeah. So, or do you want me to take over your channel if you don't talk? No, it's okay. You can <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself. So, guys, I call you Dockers. And I'm, a, I'm also a YouTuber. Nice one. The name of my YouTube channel is Dockers Mogo Mubo. Yeah. And, guys, we are here at BGC. Yeah. It's so beautiful. We just made a video showing BGC, right? Right, yeah. And I think we should also capture the night view because there are a lot of lightnings here right yeah. now. Yeah. And there are a lot of people at the park. BGC is so beautiful. Yeah. Look at those exotic bikes, electric bikes, <laughs> electric scooters. Foreigners, there are so plenty here. A lot of beautiful skyscrapers. Nice one. Yeah. I want to live here, guys. <laughs> but I need to work harder. <laughs> I'm talking to Dockers. Yeah, so um, Dockers, where are you from? I am from Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. It's not possible. Why do you think it's not possible? Are, are you a mix? Are you a mix? Are you mix? Soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Clank. I'm from Nigeria. Oh, okay. Nice one. Nice one. So, um, yeah, Nigeria. And what are you doing in the Philippines? <laughs> Bear a question. Uh, what am I doing in the Yeah. I came here to study. Oh, yeah. okay. Nice one. Nice one. I'm studying. At the same time, I'm vlogging. Nice I'm one. having fun. I'm meeting new people. And that's on TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you're studying in the Philippines. How did this start? It? Your journey to the Philippines, how did it start? It? You know that you're the first person that will interview me, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Me all and, and, and you are the first lady I'm interviewing in my, uh, like on my channel. Yeah, so I'm very, very glad and yeah. happy. Yeah. I'm opening the floor for other ladies. Okay. So how did it start? Ed? Yeah. While I was in high school, mm -hmm. I always knew I don't want to study in Nigeria. Oh, okay. In fact, when I was in my SS2, when I have one more year to graduate from high school, I wrote it down in my diary oh, okay. that, God, you know, I don't want to study in Nigeria. I, want to study. <laughs> but I didn't know where. I don't have any specific country. It's still in my diary because I brought it here because the diary includes all the things I've written when I was young, naive. I don't know, you know, I just got a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. And then when I graduated from high school, I got to meet a pastor of mine, one of my pastors in Nigeria, mm -hmm. whose children, one of his children was studying here. Oh, okay. And I was told about the Philippines and I started processing the Philippines. Oh, so okay. I, I came here a year after graduating from high school. Oh, okay. Nice I one. was still very young. <laughs> okay. So, um, well, your pastor's daughter was schooling no, here. So, my pastor's son. son. Okay. Your pastor's son was schooling here. Not my here. personal pastor. Oh, okay. One of the pastors, he just came to have administration in my city. Oh, okay. We don't even live in the same part of Nigeria. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, they introduced the Philippines to you, right? So, when they introduced the Philippines to you, what was your first thought or what did you think about the Philippines? When they introduced the Philippines to me, as yeah. a very smart girl, mm -hmm. I went to go and search about the Philippines on Facebook. Yeah. In fact, I sent friend requests to some Filipinos before I came here. Oh, okay. When I was seeing the pictures of Philippines, I was like, why is this country like, you know, all this, like, all this China village? Yeah. You know, kind of, you see village fishermen somewhere, somewhere. Okay. I didn't really get the gist, you know. Mm -hmm. For instance, now, we're supposed to be seeing places like this on Google. Like, when we type Philippines, BGC is supposed to be one of the pictures that we show first. Yeah. That we yeah. attract people to come to the Philippines because this place is so astonishingly beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is very incredible. Look, 
if I see this place and I see America, I will come here first before I go to America. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, it's so beautiful yeah. out here. Yeah. So I just googled, sent for requests to some people who were asking them about school, blah, 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 blah. I wasn't even enrolled and I was there at home in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. So um, which year was that? That was 2018. 2018. I left Nigeria. No, that was 2017. Yeah, we, we shall come there. But which year do, um, did um, the son of the pastor introduce this place to you? Which year was that? It was not the son of the pastor who introduced. I don't even have any relationship with the son of the pastor. Okay. It is the pastor that introduced this place to me. Oh, okay. And that year was 2017. Oh, okay. So, and it was that same year. No, I think the year was 2016. Okay. The year I graduated from high school. Okay. So we started processing my my documents 2017 and I came to Philippines the same 2017. Oh, okay. So it took you like how many months after the introduction? It took you for... It just took me like six months or something to get all my people, but I was the one who waited till the end of the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So around, let's say, November, December, you got into the Philippines. I got into the Philippines the last day oh, of okay. 2017. Nice one, nice one. So I was doing my Happy New Year on <laughs> in another country. In the air. <laughs> in the air. <laughs> okay, so when you were coming to the Philippines, how was it? Like from the airport of Nigeria into yeah. the plane, how was how was it? Yeah. How 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 were you feeling? So guys, as a very young girl, I've never traveled out of the country before. Okay. The day I was leaving Nigeria, my dad was with me. The pastor's assistant was with us. Okay. And then, I don't know how to go about it. In fact, I was almost getting paranoid. I was scared that what if I've had stories of, you know, people missing their flights. Mm -hmm. And like, what if I miss my flight and they <laughs> call me back to Nigeria. I forfeit my opportunity, my chance. <laughs> you know, a lot of things. And my dad told me to always take my luggage close to me. I should not allow anybody to come close to my luggage mm -hmm. so that they don't drop drugs there and they don't jail me for somebody <laughs> else's, you know, crime. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was just so innocent. Mm -hmm. And I just knew I could do it. So I boarded the plane. I was following everybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm this kind of person that I always ask questions. I'm not scared to ask questions. Maybe nice if I don't one. have anything, I don't get anything. So when I got to Cyprus, because I had a stopover. Oh, okay. oh sorry, I got to Turkey. Oh, okay. When I had a stopover there, I didn't know what stopover was. <laughs> I didn't know what I was to do. I was scared, so I stood somewhere looking at the for my the flights to see. Yeah. I didn't see because you know there are some flights that are just showing bus because mine is still the next day. Oh, okay. It wasn't there. I watched. I I was perplexed. Mm -hmm. Before I now saw a Nigerian man and his wife who were going to the UK. Okay. And I showed them my ticket and they were not they were the one who explained to me that oh you have a stop over your flight is tomorrow okay yeah so i met some other nigerians there and we hanged out together till the next day they were also coming to the philippines but i think they stopped here at manila oh okay so that means um you used turkish airline right yeah yeah nice one nice one so from turkey where next from turkey from They're nigeria from turkey to turkey to manila yeah straight to manila yeah oh, okay okay nice one nice one so when you go to Manila, how was it? How was the feeling? When I first got to Manila, the first culture shock I saw was the jeepney. Okay. Because I was like, what kind, what kind of mode of transportation is this? <laughs> I've never seen that kind of mode of transportation before. Okay. I was like, God, I hope I haven't come to the wrong country. <laughs> joke. <laughs> okay. I'm just joking, guys. But I was shocked because we, we don't have that in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that in my entire life. Mm -hmm. And come to think of it, they don't allow Jeepney to come to BGC. Yeah. Prince told me that. Yeah. Like, that was the first culture shock. Then another culture shock that I saw was students mm -hmm. going to school by this hour of the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> In Nigeria, no parents will allow their kids to go to school by this hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, nobody. Because they are scared maybe kidnappers are going to kidnap <laughs> going to you. Kidnap them. <laughs> because here yeah, they have evening schools. So you see those children, high school children, mm -hmm. working in groups with their phone, okay. going to evening school. I was shocked also that mm. that, that was the first, very first thing I can remember. But how, I, I how, forgot to tell you, okay. Okay, go ahead. What do you want I, to tell you me? You haven't asked me. I wanted to tell you that then from Manila to Cebu, I went to yeah, water. We, we, are, we, are go, we are going to talk about yeah. that. But I want to know the feeling at Philippine Airport. The feeling at Philippine Airport, nothing, nothing special, just like Philippines, here I come, <laughs> freedom. I've always wanted freedom. I've always wanted to go home. Yeah. Guys, I'm the first child and my parents are so strict. 
<laughs> like my parents are so strict i don't have space to put in that house mm -hmm. i was praying i was actually praying for the day i will leave <laughs> i will leave <laughs> so nice i got one, the nice opportunity one. free of charge so <laughs> i was glad i was glad that i finally got my freedom <laughs> okay so um when you when you got into the philippines you were coming from turkish airport yeah so when you got into the philippine airport how was it like from european airport to philippine airport uh, i would say that turkish airport is more beautiful than philippines airport okay okay more, be more beautiful and much more bigger oh okay nice because one. here in my this airport here are there really places you could sleep mm. you know for stopover do people do stopovers here? yeah people do stopover here really yeah, people do stop but in here. turkish airline there are a lot beautiful yeah. places there, there the are even of... rooms you can sleep <laughs> yeah People going to Europe, people going to America, even in, in, in Asia, they all stop over there. Wow. Yeah, so, in Turkish Airlines? Yeah. Yeah, so it's so beautiful. I love yeah. it. Okay, so um, when you got into the um, Philippines, you stayed in Manila for how long? I can't remember, but it's just for a very few days, like two days or three days. Oh, okay. Then where, where next? I went to Cebu. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't really enjoy Manila when I, Manila when I first came here because I was... I don't know anything. I don't know nothing. Mm. Unlike now, it is now that I'm getting the feeling of being in Manila. Nice one. But nice then one. I never got those feelings. Wow. Yeah. But you weren't scared when you were coming to the Philippines. I was not. They didn't tell you any bad side or. No. Oh, Nobody okay. told me that. Oh, this is. A... It is now that I'm getting to know a lot. Oh, but okay. you know that information about the Philippines. You know, it is now that students, foreign students, yeah. are talking about the Philippines. Then they are not really a lot of. You know, videos about yeah. studying in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know nothing about YouTube then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you stayed for some few days. I can't remember how many. Okay, then you moved to Cebu. Cebu. My destination. Oh, okay, did you move by air or by my land or by sea? By sea, guy. <laughs> oh, okay. I love it. Really? It's the best feeling ever. Wow. You know, it's kind of, I kind of, I have this kind of vibe of when maybe you have a boyfriend or you have a girlfriend, mm -hmm. you just go, you travel by water and you're in your cabin and you're just chilling, you know, it's like a slow journey. Hello, like. Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, I just want to give, I, I just want to give him shout out. <laughs> shout out to Raymond. <laughs> That's not what you're talking yeah. about. So, guys, basically, what I mean is that okay. I love traveling by water. Mm -hmm. In fact, if not because I have something urgently to do in Manila, mm -hmm. I would have gone through sea. Oh, okay. But yeah. have, have you traveled by water back home before? In Nigeria? Yeah. There are no waters. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how did you just love to travel on sea? While I was on sea, mm -hmm. it was I was the only black girl. Oh, Everybody okay. was amazed that what, what is this little girl doing alone? <laughs> because I didn't have no companion. They were shocked that I had no companion. Okay. And in the cabin where I was staying, we were only three wow. in the cabin. Yeah, we were only three in the cabin. Mm -hmm. I was in, it was a bunk bed and a bunk bed. Mm -hmm. I was alone in the down bed. And then in the other cabin, there was this American, this white, I don't know if it's American, but okay. a white man with a Filipina. It is now that I knew that they were Filipina, but then I never knew that they were Filipina. I thought the girl was his daughter. <laughs> but when I, when I knew that it was not his, his daughter was when in the night, they went to the same bus and I was like, what are these people doing? <laughs> I was so young, guys. You guys should just laugh and have fun. Yeah. But that was what was going on in my mind that day. Because okay. I thought they were father and daughter. Because then I couldn't differentiate Filipino from non-Filipino. Mm -hmm. But it was now, I just saw them, they slept together, I'm like, mm, they are dating. <laughs> but it was fun, the cabin was beautiful. You know, in the cabin, there are spaces where a lot of people can sleep, like 200 people can sleep together. Okay. You are going to pay um, lesser amounts of money. And if you want your own personalized cabin, mm -hmm. you know, you can get that also. So I love my cabin, but just for Tasia. I just love everything. I just be looking at the water, okay. in the morning you take your food. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so um finally you got to cebu yep how was the feeling also there um in cebu i yeah. was just like okay let's get to know this country yeah Even, okay yeah i was just getting to know cebu you know where i live in cebu is a very ghetto area <laughs> 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 very ghetto <laughs> it's like yeah. a school area there are a lot of students living around 
student wants to leave around school, right? Okay. So that they can get to school quickly. You know, if, if someone is asking, what is ghetto? How will you explain that? Ghetto is like... Um, a slum? A a, like a slum. <laughs> <laughs> but not really a slum. Like, yeah. But I'm just telling you, like, it's like a slum. But not like a slum, 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 yeah. slum, slum. Yeah. Not a typical ghetto. No, not a typical <laughs> ghetto. It's just like it's just students are just too much. Nice one. And you can't see nice buildings like this in the in that area. There are a lot of nice buildings in Cebu, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But because we students are living close to the school area, mm -hmm. there are no nice buildings. We came here to study, right? We are not here to enjoy luxury. No, 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 no. We came to study. But though you can still study and enjoy luxury, there are yeah. students who are living that kind of lifestyle. <laughs> so um you got it to Cebu and the place you are staying, right? It was a it's bit a bit slum no, or like let's a say a ghetto. It's a normal building, a normal dormitory, yeah. nice, it's okay. But like the area, it's just like local local area with roasters. <laughs> you see, yeah, I no can see that in here. your videos. No, no roasters, guys. <laughs> Nobody is tying their chicken under the tree. Yeah. But we yeah. are moving. They tie their roasters and their roasters always disturb my videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean by slum. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so um even when I was at Toledo, no roasters. Wow. <laughs> Allah. Uh, Allah. <laughs> okay, so um you stayed for how long before you started schooling? Yeah, when I came to the Philippines, mm -hmm. I did not go to school immediately because I was waiting for a new semester because a semester already started okay. before I started so when I came here January then I started school June okay yeah so you came January started school June wow so that month I was just doing nonsense mm. just sleeping waking up <laughs> okay so um when you started school what was the challenges Number one is the language at first. Okay. Because they keep on speaking Bisaya, 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 and you don't understand. Oh, okay. But for you to know what they are saying in class, you have to have a friend that is going to be interpreting everything for you. Mm -hmm. Unlike now, that I am really, really, you know, fast yeah. than then. The language, number two, at first, the food. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, when I first came here, I told myself that, can I really survive in this Philippines? <laughs> <laughs> When I saw the food, I literally told myself that, can I really survive? Yeah. But I'm surviving. Do you know, ever since I got to Manila, I haven't even cooked. I've been eating all sorts of things. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good foods, though. Nice one. But not like Nigerian food. So now I can live. Even while I was in Toledo, mm -hmm. the only time I ate Nigerian food was those times when I cooked Nigerian food for my family at Toledo. You saw the videos, yeah, right? Yeah, I saw it. Apart saw from it. those times, I always eat. Filipino, Filipino food. food. Oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. The so, food at yeah, that's all. Okay. So, um, you went to class by then, right? Because yeah. by then there wasn't COVID or yeah. lockdown, anything. So, when you went to class, how was the feeling between it's, you and your classmates? It's, yeah, it's nice. It, I just attended class, mind my business. I, I used to mind my business. Oh, okay. I had very few friends while I was in school because I'm, I'm this kind of person who. I don't like to be walking around all over the place. I always like, if I'm going to class, let me go to class. Mm -hmm. Once I'm done from class and I have like an hour break, mm. I will quickly go <laughs> and go and spend that, that one hour break at home. Wow. Then once it's like two minutes to my other class, I will quickly come back to school again. Wow. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> okay. So, um, you were in class and stuff. Are Filipino racist? Um, to be truthful? You have to. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Otherwise, it won't yeah. sound loud. Go ahead. Um, to be truthful, some are. Oh, okay. Some are. Okay. And why some are not? There are Filipinos who are. There are Filipinos. I'm trying to be real to you guys. I won't pretend mm -hmm. because I'm not here to be saying that because you know because I want the favor of Filipinos or because I want to appear good oh, in okay. the presence of Filipinos. Then I won't say the truth. Okay. There are Filipinos who are racist and there are some who are not. I have Filipino families in case you don't know. And okay. they treat me so well and they love me genuinely. Yeah, but still, there are Filipinos who are racist. Oh, okay. Nice one. So, in class, were there any racist against you in, in class then? Yeah, I've experienced one racist, racist, um, one racist, um, 
a counter in classroom before but i don't want to talk about it oh okay yeah but it's okay i'm i'm done hmm. nice I don't, one nice one yeah but okay so how long have you been in the philippines um i'm three years and six months now in the philippines going to four years oh okay okay and how has like how has life been so far honestly i'm so grateful to be in this country mm -hmm. life has been good okay yeah though it comes with challenges yeah it hasn't been easy it has, it's, it's not going to be smooth okay like my journey in the philippines so far mm -hmm. has been one hell of a roller coaster ride but i'm grateful to god for everything but i love it here in fact i i don't mind living here okay yeah okay 